uh, delighted to welcome to the podcast a new guest, Kent Heckin Lively. He's an attorney and science teacher, also a successful and respected New York Times bestselling author. His new book, The Diversity Con, it's available on Amazon. Once again, the book is The Diversity Con. Uh, Kent, welcome to the podcast. Yeah, I see you're holding it up. It's got a really nice cover. Uh, and uh, this is, of course, a really important topic. Uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's kind of a, it's a relatively new sort of slogan. Uh, and it seems to focus on three words, all of which I think are very telling. You have diversity. Uh, you have this interesting word equity, not equality, but equity. Uh, and then you have the very benign inclusion, as if to say that this is going to uh, benefit everybody and count everybody. Uh, and yet, as you say in the title of your book, it's a con. So where's the, if you had to put your finger on it, what's the con? Well, here's the con. So my co-author, David Johnson, who's a Project Veritas whistleblower, went right. undercover at a lot of these in the training sessions and he found a regular pattern so let's say there's a three-day conference okay day one is just a lot of really interesting information that all of us could say oh that's really interesting i didn't know that okay wonderful day two is where a couple strange ideas are put forward but it's still kind of within the bounds of like, oh, okay, you know, we're having a thoughtful intellectual discussion. Day three is where it gets crazy. It's where they usually introduce the, the transsexual agenda. Uh, it's where they'll say things like, gee, this professor at a New York university took naked pictures of her seven-year-old playing with himself and put it in a show as art and gee wasn't it a terrible that she was prosecuted for child pornography and, and so it really is a con and you have to be wary of the the way that the propaganda is given to you because it never starts out as let's be a weird person it starts out as let's be a kind inclusive person and then it gets shifted to these really terrible ideas. I think the DEI is really a civilization destroying idea because it's not like the formulation of Dr. Martin Luther King that let's be judged by the content of our character and our actions. It's there are immutable characteristics which we can never overcome. What is the goal of the DEI advocates and activists, the people who really know what the agenda is? In other words, not, not, the, not the kind of kind-hearted person who just goes to a pride parade and thinks that they're being tolerant and open-minded. I'm talking about the people who have devised this agenda, uh, that have packaged it, that have developed the three-step process that you just described. If you let them play it out, where are they going? Well, I think there are a couple different groups here. And, and I think one of the things that we came up in our book was we had You're David kidding. go undercover <laughs> to these really comical DEI trainings. <laughs> and we'd say, okay, they're using a lot of Marxist language in their trainings. And then we said to ourselves, well, this makes no sense because who is funding this? Because this seems to be a really well-funded operation. And so we did a deep dive into the financial stuff. I mean, I, I, I like to think that I'm doing some of the same thing that Peter Schweitzer does in going, going beyond the surface. And, and what we found is there's a group out of San Francisco called the Hides Foundation which I think is important that everybody understand. So what the Tides Foundation does is it steams money to all these organizations. And so it, 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 in a sense, it gives a, a, a layer of deniability to the Tides Foundation. So how big is the Tides Foundation? 
Well, in the 2020 election, they received this nonprofit received over $500 million in donations and gave out about $600 million in grants to all these groups. Black Lives Matter being probably the most prominent example. Tides Foundation had been working with Black Lives Matter since approximately 2014. Okay. And what the Tides Foundation does is it takes, so you're a rich person, you give money to them, and you can park your money in some funds for a couple of years. So you get a nice rate of return. And then you're this rich guy and you, you say, Hey, Tides Foundation, could you give $3 million to Black Lives Matter? Well, that $3 million doesn't come from you, the billionaire. It comes from the Tides Foundation. Who is donating to this? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, George Soros, Open Society, you know, uh, Rockefeller Foundations, you know, Ford Foundation, I think, has given over $150 million over the past decade to this group. So what's happening is, is, is I kind of liken it to what the British Empire did before they had a really good navy and they were to go against the Spanish main. They gave letters of mark to these privateers who would then go and raid the Spanish main. And so, so what's happening is you have this, this entire system to give money to the most radical organizations. Now, these billionaires are not Marxists, but they're using Marxist tactics, I believe, to destroy their competition. Look what happened during COVID. We had a destruction of small businesses. Everybody was terrified in their homes. They're ordering from Amazon. They're ordering from the big ticket organization. So, I think of it as, well, we really need to be looking at it, are looking at are these Marxist robber barons. They're not really Marxist, but they're using Marxist Marxist tactics to create monopolies. Very fascinating. We'll be right back with Kent Hecken Lively. We're talking about his book, The Diversity Con, available at Amazon. With the new movie Police State Out, it's a great time to check out and join. In fact, become an annual subscriber to my Locals channel. If you do, you get this movie and a bunch of other things for included. I post lots of exclusive content on Locals, including content that's censored on other social media platforms. On Locals, you get Dinesh Unchained, Dinesh Uncensored. You can also interact with me directly. I do a weekly live Q&A every Tuesday. Did a really fun one. Actually, Debbie joined me last night. No topic is off limits. I've also uploaded some cool films to locals, documentaries and feature films. My films, also films by others. 2,000 Mules is up there. And I mentioned the new film, Police State. In fact, just today, I put up some extended content from the film. This is the full interview with Darren Beatty. A small part of it is in the film, but a bigger part of it is now on Locals. And hey, if you're an annual subscriber, you can stream and watch these movies. You can get all of this content for free. So check out my channel. It's Dinesh.Locals.com. I'd love to have you along for this great ride. Again, it's Dinesh.Locals.com.